Hi, this is Sandrine Gibson. Welcome to Yoga Level 2. Please be cautious and please modify as much as you can. Have a good yoga practice. Namaste. Come into standing in front of your mat, hands in prayer. Start going into your Ujjayi breath. As you draw your hands down to your side, inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, reaching arms down. Do that a few times. Inhaling, reaching arms up, look up. Exhaling, drawing your hands back down. Inhaling, filling up your heart. Exhaling, swan dive as you fold. Soften those knees, hands on your shin bones. Inhale, lengthen, flatten your back, rolling shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen again. Start to straighten those legs a little bit more. Exhale, fold. Fingertips on the floor. Gently reach your right leg back. Make yourself into a nice little lunge. Fingertips on the floor. Opening up your heart. Make sure your knee is nice and forward. But that your toes are passing your knees. And gently come into a light runner's lunge, half Hanuman. Straighten the left leg, toes pointing toward you, and fold. Surrender and let it go. Let that left leg be straight, grabbing with your right hand, your toes, flexing your foot, bring your toes toward you. And then let's bring the hand of your left hand toward the foot. Find your balance here. And then walk both hands to the inside to your right side as you get a little bit of a stretch on the side stay low and then walk your hands to the other side gently bring your hands back into the center and reach the left leg out pressing the outer edge of your foot down walk your hands a foot forward shifting your hips back get a nice stretch into the inner left thigh Feeling that stretch into the inner thigh. Gently walk your hands toward you again, reaching your left arm up. Extending, find the alignment with the wrist and shoulders and then gently to switch side, reach your right arm up. And then gently bring it through the needle, dropping your right shoulder down, not too close to the right knee. Make sure you have side of the body long. And then finding opening here, your left, your left arm reaching up, grabbing onto your right thigh, opening up the left shoulder, and then gently lift the left leg, spread your toes, lift the left foot about six inches to a foot, and then release, and then come onto all fours, cat and cow, inhale and exhale at your own pace. Finding your breath and your inhale. Exhale, soften the elbows, push the floor away from you. Inhaling, expanding, and exhaling. Follow the belly. And gently come to Balasana, child's pose. Knees wide, toes together. And then gently walk your hands to the right side of your mat. Stay low. Bring it back to center and walk your hands to the left side of your mat. Bring it back to center. And come back into all fours, cat and cow. Good. And then tuck your toes under. And Adho Mukha Dvanasana, downward dog with the knees bent. So lightly jogging in place here. Go slow, spread those fingers. Broaden your shoulders, elongate the spine, jogging in place slowly. Finding your Ujjayi breath. Calming your mind, 
Gently walk your feet tippy toe, tippy toe until your feet are hip width apart, front of your mat, hands on shin bones, lengthen and fold. Inhale, reaching arms up as you come up, Tadasana. Exhale, high hands in Anjali Mudra. Drop it down. Inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, drop your hands back down to your side. Hands in prayer. Inhale, reaching arms up. Look up. And then exhale, hands at your side. Hands in prayer. Reaching, inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, swan dive, butt back. Exhale, full lengthen. Your head, legs are getting stronger and straighter. Reaching, lengthen, flatten your back. Exhale, fold, grabbing onto the back of the calves. Hands on the floor now. Step your left leg back for the other side. Let your lunge be deep, waking up the left quadricep. Fingertips on the floor, open up your heart. And then gently come into your runner's lunge. And then we'll grab onto your right foot with your left hand and then right hand. Using your core for balance, straighten that leg. Surrender, closing the gap. Make sure your right toes is toward your face. Gently bring your hands to the inside. Walk them toward the side. Get a nice side stretch. And then go to the other side, to the right side. Feeling that stretch right there. Then gently extend your right leg out Walk your hands forward and get a nice stretch into the inner right thigh. Make sure your right foot is flat, pointing forward, shifting your hips back and say hello to your inner thighs. And say hello to Kashi, my cat. And gently walk your hands back toward your inhale, right arm up. So you really want to find length here as you bring your right shoulder on top of the left. Big mistake people do, they just don't open wide enough. And then gently, let's do the other side. Right hand down, left arm up, opening up. Draw the belly in as you go into your twist here, as you drop the left shoulder down. You're gonna bring your right arm, maybe extend it first, side of the body long, then reach it up and back and grab on to your back thigh to your left thigh and opening up, moving the right shoulder back and lightly and gently invite the right leg to go up. So you're gonna start lifting it up, spread your toes. Imagine your right foot putting a footprint onto that imaginary wall. You wanna lift it about six inches to 12 inches, no higher than that. And we're doing that really quickly. So you're just coming back into all four for your cat and cow. Inhale and exhale, cat and cow. Gently open your knees wider, toes together, and come into Balasana, child's pose again. And then bring your hands in prayer. Bring your thumb toward the nape of your neck, the back of your neck. Let your armpits melt to the floor, opening up the shoulders here. You are in child's pose. Now gently reach your arms forward so, and then come back to all fours. Extend the right leg back, flatten your back, and then left arm reaching. Look down, don't look too far forward. I really want you to lengthen the spine here. Create space, space, space and length. Gently release. Let's try the other side. Left leg, right arm. Have your right upper arm align with your ear. Back is long, you're looking in front of your mat. Draw the belly in and gently release. Walk your hands about three inches forward, spread your fingers. 
roll the shoulders away from your ears and then your knees bent elongate into your downward dog Adho Mukha Svanasana open your feet hip width apart start spreading your toes even lifting the arches of your feet kneecaps lifting extend the right leg back find the diagonal angle on the right side and then slowly lift your left arm, the top of the left hand, rests gently onto your lower back. This requires your drishti, soft gaze. Gently release, and let's try the other side. We're doing this quickly, left leg, right arm. This is your balancing, extending. Some days are easier than others. We're not doing this for too long today, so make the best out of it. Gently release. See, that was quick. Enjoy your downward dog. Now shift the weight forward, shoulder over, over the wrist. Big inhale, use your heels. Exhale, downward dog. Kick with your feet as you inhale, shift the weight forward, plank. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Use your breath. Inhale, using your heels to be on the top of the tippy toes. And gently drop the knees down, Come down, melt your heart all the way down, top of the feet on the floor, hands underneath the shoulders, inhale, like cobra, squeezing your buttocks a little bit, opening up, exhale, drop your nose, forehead onto the floor, roll the shoulders away, inhale, open up, find yourself lifting, hover your hands off the floor now. Gently release your forehead back down. One more time. Inhale, lift. This time you're going to lift the legs, lift the hands off the floor. Spread your toes. Stay with your breath. Don't hold your breath. Gently release. Drop your forehead down. Now clasp the hands behind your back. Roll the shoulders away from the floor. Push the hands toward your heels as you lift your heart. And we're going to do all com combined lift the legs as well. Your feet shouldn't be more than hip width apart. Opening here, elongate, gently release, drop your head to one side. Let yourself go, get a little bit of a neck stretch as you drop your ear to the floor. Bring your breath into your lower back. Gently bring it back to center, clasp the hands, and then gently interlace the fingers and lifting. Opening, lift those legs. Really make it to deeper and deeper. Yeah, now you can lift the legs a little bit more, lift the chest a little bit more. Opening up. And gently release, drop your head to the other side. Tuck the toes, put your hand underneath the shoulders, push, press back up into a plank, exhale to downward dog. All right, we're warmed up, ready to rock and roll. Let's get moving. Jump, feet hip width apart, fingertips on the floor, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Press your feet, inhale, reaching, arms up, look up. Exhale, cactus, push the wall away from you, squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale, straighten back to mountain pose, exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, lengthening here, and jump back, plank. Exhale, down into your push-up, hover here. Inhaling to upward dog. And then gently roll on top of your feet to downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, reaching right leg, find the diagonal angle. Don't lift it too high. Up, find your breath. Give me gently exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it back. And then on your exhalation, bring it to knee toward elbow. Reach it back, big inhale. Exhale, bring it across, knee to across from your other elbow. Reach it back. And gently bring your nose to your knee and step your right foot forward. Drop the back knee down. Let your hip beat soft and deep as you extend your arms up. 
into a low lunge, spread your fingers deeply, grabbing into a huge globe, the earth. Oh, and gently bring your hands down to the floor and then strain both legs. Your back heel is still lifted. Your right leg is straight. Now you're going into a deep forward bend and then gently step your left foot forward. Feet hip width apart, lengthen here. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, reach your arms back, Wolverine arms, inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, find your seat, nice and deep. Inhale, straighten the lows legs. Cactus, again. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, prayer into the center. Ex you fold into forward bend. Inhale, lengthen. Hands on the floor, jump back. Vinyasa, exhaling down. Inhale into upward dog. And exhaling to Adho Mukha Jodhasana. Left leg reaches back. Find your extension on that left leg. And exhale, nose to knee, shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, back down, downward dog. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Gently reach it back. Make sure you as you shift forward, shoulders to a wrist across from you. And then reach it back again. And then bring nose to knee again. As you step the foot forward, invite the back knee down. Come into your low lunge. Hands on hips and let yourself melt down here. Open up, arms reaching back. Drop the shoulders down. Grabbing onto your globe. Let that right hip flexor really melt down. All right, bring your hands to the floor. Straighten both legs. Back heel is lifted. Right hip forward, left hip back. Good, step. Right foot forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana, Utkatasana. Bend knees, reach your arms back. And lifting arms up. Find your seat, open up the heart. Make sure you're not overarching your back. Inhale, straighten the arms. Cactus on your exhalation. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, fold midline. Inhale, jump back. Exhale, down into your push-up. Inhaling to upper dog. Exhaling to downward dog. Right leg reaching back. Bring it toward nose to knee. Reach it back again. Right foot forward. Open up. You are opening arms up, Anjayasana, back knee is lifted, your left heel is over the ball mount, square your hips. Now find your twist, right arm reaching down and back, arms over the legs, gazing toward the back, spread your arms and now go into Flamingo Dancer, your right hand on back of your hamstring. Left arm reaching up, looking back. Now soften deeper as you start bending to the front knee. Your back leg comes down and then use your abdominals to protect your lower back as you walk your fingertips toward your back ankle. Huge back bend here. Opening up here. Come back into finding your arms out and then find hands in prayer into a twist here. Left upper arm onto your thigh and then lift the back knee again. Okay, extending the arms, reaching, fingertips on the floor. Now bring the hands flat on the floor as you gently drop the hip down and then you reach your right arm toward your back foot and then move outer spiral your right hip out. Now bring your hands to the inside and then you're going to drop your elbows down. Good. Elbows drop down. Bring your right knee close to you. You're an alligator here. Good. Find your breath. And then gently grab on to the back foot. Open up. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. 
rolling your right shoulder back, opening here, grabbing onto the back foot, pushing the heel away from you. Now gently come back into your alligator. Have your shoulder, elbow shoulder width apart, wrist shoulder width apart, and then step your right foot back into a plank. So a deep plank here. Stay here, nice and strong. No Mount Everest over here. You're a nice plank. Shoulders over the elbows, slightly puff up your rhomboids. Draw the belly really into your spine. Diamond into the belly, suck it in. Legs are strong. You've got this. Gently come in to dolphin. Your, your elbows should be shoulder width apart, wrist should be shoulder width apart, walking your finger, your toes toward your, your elbows, feet flat as much as possible, and really extend your, your shoulders. Now you're gonna look forward, shift your weight forward, tippy toe forward, and then lift the right leg up as high up as you can. And maybe even just a little hop. Don't go all the way up. You're not warmed up enough for it. But you wanna give a little bit of a hop. Or if you are warmed up, then come all the way up with both legs up. You're back into your dolphin for the other side. Now tippy toe forward, lift the left leg up, and then bend that right knee as you hop up a little bit. Just give a little Hop two times is good enough, two, three times. Back into your dolphin. And then when you're ready, lift the elbows at the same time off the floor and you're back into your downward dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. left knee, bring it forward, and then reach it back, step, left foot forward for the other side, inhale, reaching, come up, Anjiasana again, left foot forward, right heel back, back knee is lifted, square your hips forward, reaching arms, you really want to have your arms past your ears, you're looking at the sky, celebrating life, so really find your breath, left arm reaching forward and back into your twists, keep your hips squared, gazing toward your left hand and then go into your flamingo dancer here. You're looking toward your back ankle, extend your arms, palms facing the back of the room. And then you're gonna bend the back and then drop the back knee to the floor as you walk your left hand toward your right ankle. You're reaching back here. Come back into lifting and then make your hands into a prayer, right upper arm onto left thigh. And then lift the back knee. Try not to rest your torso onto your thigh. You're lifting, you're twisting. Take all the toxin out, feel the lift. There should be space between your belly and chest. Bring your hands to the floor. Dropping the right knee down, hands to the inside as you drop your elbows back. And then your left hand onto your inner thigh, walk the foot out and then open up the heart. With your left hand, you grab onto the knife edge of that right foot and kick your heel away from you your butt. You really want to kick your heel away from your butt and open up the chest. Your left thigh is moving away from you. Open up the heart. This is a huge stretch. Gently release. Hands back to the inside, shoulder width apart, elbows, wrists, shoulder width apart. And then gently reach back into your plank again. Right knee toward your right shoulder, hold it. Left knee 
forward your shoulder, hold it, good. Lift the right leg, stay in your plank. Left leg, lifting, stay in your plank. Now gently go from side to side, left hip going to the floor, right hip. And lightly, about half an inch off the floor, hovering from side to side. You're in plank and you're hovering from side to side. Keep on going. Side, right hip touching almost, left hip almost touching. Come back into your plank and back to your dolphin. Back into your dolphin here. Gently release back down your knees and then go into puppy dog stretch, dropping your chest down. Good, now come back, hands in front of you for cat stretch. And then come to neutral spine, walk your hands forward again. Draw the belly in and downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And jump, feet to the front, lengthen, and fold. Utkatasana, inhale, reaching arms up, find your seat, and straighten those legs. Exhale, cactus, squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale, come up, down the midline, fold. Hands on the floor, jump back, vinyasa, exhale down, don't go too low, inhale to upward dog, and exhaling to downward dog. Spread your fingers. Right leg reaching, extend. Bring your right knee toward your right shoulder in a plank. Reach it back on your inhale. Step your right foot forward, Virabhadrasana A, Warrior One. Inhale, reaching your arms up. Extend, square the hips. Your back foot is about 40 degrees. Your hips are forward. Draw the belly in. Relax the shoulders, spread the fingers a little bit more. And then extend the arms. Rotate your thumbs down, clasp the hands behind you. First, interlace the fingers and open up your heart toward the sky as you slide your hand to the back knee. And then gently fold, humble warrior here. Your right shoulder slides the inside of your right calves. Let your head drop down heavy. Your right knee should still be 90 degree. Back leg is strong. Feel the arch in the back foot. And then slowly straighten the right leg. So lift the torso, quarter of the way up. Right leg goes straight, exhale, fold. Drop the belly button on to the right thigh. Clasping the hands still, folding and breathing. Nice stretch into the hamstring, release the hands. You're gonna gently walk your front foot a little bit back, so your feet a little closer together. And then you're gonna interlace the fingers behind the calves. So grabbing onto the back of the calf, so you might need to adjust your stance, interlace, then use your arms, your elbows bend, to pull yourself even deeper into the stretch as you clasp the back of the calf. Gently release the hands. Feel the inner spiral in the leg. Go really slowly as you go into your standing split, lifting your left leg up to the heaven slowly. Do not lift out like outer spiraling. You want inner spiraling. Come plugging in. Now grab onto the back of the ankle with one hand and then the other. Your hands are not on the floor. They're on the back of the calf, grabbing onto your back foot. Find your balance. Challenge yourself. 
bring your hands back onto the floor, lengthen, curtsy, folding, nose to knee, let your back leg bend, and then inhale, kick the back foot back, and then step your left foot to the right side of the right foot. Your feet are hip width apart, your left foot is behind, lengthen and fold. Heel aligned, hip width apart. You then gently get yourself a Garudasana, eagle pose. Coil your right leg oh, behind, your right foot behind your calf. Sit deeper. Inhale, reaching arms out. Your right arm goes underneath, palms together, coiling. Have your elbows shoulder width apart. Drop the shoulders away from the ear. And then push the elbows slightly back into your, into your um, shoulders. Feel that stretch. Gently bow down, hollow the belly. Round your back as your elbows touches your knees. You still low, you still coil, and then slowly just uncoil the right leg. Use your balance here. Inner spine, and keeping the coil, move the elbows away from your heart. Try and bring your fingertips forward to the front of the room. Gently extend the arms out into your plane your inner spine, your right hip, and then you can have your hands on your hips to see, and then clasp the hands behind your back and lift them up. And come up, hands still coil, feet hip width apart, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, hands still clasp, so you're folding into a forward bend. Gently release the hands, hand flat, jump back, exhale down into a push up, Inhaling to upward dog and exhaling to downward dog. Let's see if we can do this even smoother on that side. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left leg on your inhale reaches back. And once again, shift the weight forward, knee to shoulder on your exhalation. Inhale, reaching it back. Bring it forward, Virabhadrasana, A. Square your hips, back foot 40 degrees. Inhale, reaching arms up. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Spread your fingers. Gently extend the arms out, thumbs down. Clasp the hands behind your back. Slide your hands toward your right knee as you open up your heart. Big inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Drop your forehead toward the floor. Interlace in the fingers. Shake out your head. Your left knee is bent 90 degrees. Watch the hyperextension on your elbows. Back foot is flat. You're going to lift only a quarter of the way as you square your hips, straighten the front leg, exhale, fold, give a little bit of a light twist as your belly button goes on top of the left thigh. Still clasping the hands, gently release the hands to the side, and then step your back foot forward a little bit, only two feet apart, folding, and then clasp the hands behind the left knee left calf, excuse me, interlacing and straight both legs as you do this. And then gently release, bring your fingertips to the side. Inner spiral that right thigh. Do not let the right hip swirl out as you come into your split. Lift the right leg up into your split as high up as you can. You can do this. Lift it up. More. Imagine that you had a wall, and then with the left hand, grab on to your, your um, left ankle and your right. Both hands grabbing on to the ankle. Challenge yourself here. We're only doing it once. You can do this. There's good days and bad days. Make this the best day you, you can do, and you're doing your best effort. Gently lengthening. Axel, curtsy. Curtsy squat. Gently kick that right leg back and then gently bring it to the left side. Your right foot is behind, left leg is forward. Lengthen and fold. Your feet are hip width apart, heel to 
heel the left foot is forward. Now gently start bending the knees as you bring the left foot behind and coil it behind the calf. You really want to squat down, Garudasana, eagle pose. Squat down, hands in prayer, find your balance, then extend your arms out to the side, and then left arm goes under this time. Coil your arms, palms together, thumb touching your third eye. Trying to slide your hips down, lean back a little bit more. Elbows should be aligned with your shoulders. Stay with your breath. Breathing, hollow the belly, elbow to knee, touching here. And then gently uncoil the left leg as you reach that left leg back and extend the elbows forward, but your, your arms are still coiled as your fingertips try and touch the front. Extend the arms out as you release into your airplane mode. And then clasp the hands behind your back. Oh, no, never mind. Reach, reaching and then come up to standing. Exhale, fold. There's a little cut right there. I apologize. Come into forward bend. We're not doing the clasping. Jump back. Exhale down into your push-up. Inhaling to upper dog and exhaling to downward dog. There's going to be some technical difficulty when you're filming from home, correct? Doing the best I can. Inhale, reaching, open up, and you're starting to open up a little bit more. Right leg lift and keep your shoulders squared. You're lifting, opening up the hip, lift the back heel up even. Tippy toe, right leg, open up. Trying to press that left heel down as you go into your peeing dog. Roll up your ankles, flex and point, flex and point. Extend that right leg back up. You're going to go to Veer Bhadrasana 2. Right foot forward, square your back foot 90 degrees. Extend your left arm out, arms over the legs. Warrior 2. Find your breath. We're spreading. Come into your... Warrior two, bending into that right knee. And reverse warrior, reaching your right arm up. Left hand let gently sliding into that left leg. Your right knee is still 90 degrees. Come back into warrior two, dropping your right forearm onto your right thigh, reaching your left arm over, find the diagonal angle. You're gazing toward the palm, drishti toward the palm of your hand, right forearm to right thigh. Find that openness. Reach your left arm up, fingertips of the right hand on the floor to the inside. Push back. Use your upper arm to push into that inner right thigh. You're hovering and then gently come back into warrior two. Straighten the right leg as you go into reverse triangle. Reverse triangle, come into Utita Trikonasana, triangle, wide-legged triangle pose, fingertips on the floor, both legs straight, wrist and shoulders aligned. Make this into a beautiful geometry using your breath. Gently come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, left hand on hip, and then come up, expanding, left arm up, extend, back leg strong, and then hover your hands off the floor. Get your hands off the floor. Come on, you can do it. Fingertips about an inch off the floor. Hover, strong leg. Then gently drop the hand down, left arm grabbing out outer edge of your foot. Come into candy cane. Walk your right hand toward your right foot and bring your right hand onto your right shin bone. Challenge your balance here. You got it. Extend your arms back. Come back into warrior two. Straighten the right leg. It's pigeon toe, right foot in, hands on hip. Inhale, reaching arms out. Exhale, hands on hip as you gently fold. Toes in, heels out, hands on the floor. Walk your hands back, let the palm of your hands align with your heels. Elbows in, lengthen and fold here. 
draw the elbows in a little bit, shoulders away from the ears, drop your head down to the floor. Legs strong, kneecaps lift and contract. Inhale, lengthen here. And then gently bend the left knee, hands toward your left foot as you straighten the right leg and lift the toes up and get a really nice stretch of that right leg. Your left foot should be flat, preferably. Gently switch. Walk your hands to the right foot, bend the right knee. Your left leg is straight. Gently lift the toes of your left foot. Your right foot is spot on the floor. Gently release, come back, up, clasp the hands behind you, inhale, exhale, fold, interlacing the fingers still, drawing your head down to the floor, wide-legged, forward bend. Gently release your hands as you inhale, come up. Walk your right foot forward, come on to back to warrior two. Warrior two, drop your right hand to the inside of the right foot now that you're nice and warmed up. Left arm reaching up and then bend it behind you, grab onto the inner right thigh, open up that shoulder and then bow down and then reach your arms behind, clasp the hands. This is level two people, grabbing onto your left wrist. Scoop the tailbone toward your right knee forward as you lift the chest. You're not collapsing and you're finding the diagonal angle here on the left side. And slowly straighten that right leg. Your torso is over your right thigh, not leaning forward. Your torso is over your right thigh. Both legs straight. Lean back. Gently. You're going to step your left foot. Make a two or three step forward. Your feet are hip width apart. Stay here, don't lift up yet. Start straightening both legs. Go slowly, still clasping onto your wrist or your fingers, whatever that you can grab. And then gently ground your left foot as you lift the right heel. Stay here and then gently lift and come up for your bird of paradise. And when you are ready, you're gonna slowly extend the right leg up and straighten that right leg into your bird. My head's covering my face, I don't even know how I'm breathing. Drop the right foot down, release your hands, Uttanasana, exhaling, folding, and inhale, extend, reaching arms up, big breath, and hands in prayer, Samasti. Releasing your hands to the side, inhale, arms up, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, jump back, exhale, come down into your push-up. Inhale, upward dog, and exhaling to downward dog. All right, the easy side. Let's go for the other side. Walk your toes toward each other. Invite the left leg up. You're not moving your shoulders. You're opening up the left hip. Opening up the left hip. Find your breath here. Lifting the right heel, get onto your tippy toe, press the heel back down as you come into your peeing dog. Wiggle your ankle, say hello. You can see your toes underneath your right shoulder, maybe flex and point. Then extend the, the left leg up again. Deep inhale, exhale, flatten your foot forward. Virabhadrasana two, rainbow your left arm back and bend into your left knee. Arms over the legs, rolling shoulders back. Make sure you press on the knife edge of your back foot and then come into reverse warrior. Enjoy that stretch. Expanding, bringing space, bringing your left arm forward onto your thigh as you reach your right arm. Find this beautiful geometry 
your right ankle and your right wrist are in the same line and they're really reaching opposite angle. Now reach your left arm up to the sky. Come into your T as your bottom arm hovers off the floor about an inch. And then come into straight that left leg. Warrior two. Back into warrior two. And then straighten the left leg for reversed warrior. Reverse warrior. Extending your left arm up. And come into Utita Trikonasana triangle pose. triangle pose, finding your breath, lean back, opening up and transition to Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, right hand on right hip, stack the right hip on top of the left, flex your right foot, imagine that you have a brook, brick wall inside your inner right thigh, let's lift the hands off the floor, come on, give me an inch off the floor, Use your balance, use your core, draw the belly in. Then drop the hand back down as you go into candy cane. Grabbing onto the back ankle, lift the right knee off the floor. Left hand onto shin bone, lifting up. Open up, extend, come back into half moon, come back into warrior two. Arms over the legs. And straighten both legs, pigeon toe, left toe in, hands on hip on your exhalation, big inhale here, exhale, fold forward, your hands on your hips, elbows back, shoulders toward squeezing in the back. Your hands are remaining on your hips here and you're dropping your crown of your head to the floor in between your feet. Legs are straight, kneecaps lifting. Heels out, toes in a little bit. Now bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthening. Walking your left hand underneath your heart, rolling your right shoulder up and reaching your rubber arm up. Keep your hips squared. There should be a glass of water, glass of wine on your hips and it's not falling. Right hand plants down, left hand onto your sacrum and then gently find your twist with wide legged opening up here. Keep your Keep your right hip up, left hip soft and down. Gently left hand grabs onto the right ankle. Left hand grabs onto the right ankle and reach your right arm behind you and grab onto the inner left thigh. And then fold toward that right knee, keeping your hips squared here. My daughter is playing violin in the background. Right hand grabs onto the left ankle and grab onto the inner right thigh as you move and fold toward your left leg, opening up the shoulders, getting a little nice shoulder stretch here. Release, hands on the floor, walk your hands behind you, so palms down, shoulders, your hands are shoulder width apart, and you walk your hands behind your mat. A little bit of a different stretch, kind of the head on the floor. Now walk your hands back forward, shoulders, your hands are aligned with your shoulders, come into tripod, forehead on the floor, uh, crown of the head on the floor and then gently use your legs legs are straight as you lift up lift up the legs slowly out this is level two and a half at this point two three tripod left your legs are lifting activate use your abdominals nice and strong and then slowly open up the legs keep the legs nice and straight do not bend the legs like straight, you're gonna land your feet where they were. Boom, they landed exactly where you had lifted up. Gently inhale, lengthening, hands on hips. Exhale here, inhale, come up. Gently come back into warrior two. Bring your right, uh, sorry, bring your left hand to the inside, right arm up. We're going for the other side. Right arm reaching behind you, grabbing onto your left thigh. Left arm to the inside, grabbing on, make the connection, grabbing onto your wrist. Your left knee is bent, your right leg is straight. Really bend that left knee at first. You get plenty of chance to straighten. All right, now straighten that left leg. Your torso is over your left thigh, not hovering forward, which most students do that. 
it's okay, I can't see you, but I know you're doing it. No. <laughs> Gently step your right foot forward. Feet are hip width apart. Toes are pointing forward. Heels align. Roll your right shoulder back. And then get yourself ready for Bird of Paradise. Ground your right foot, lift the left heel. Go slow as you lift up, use your core and then come up. Don't lift the leg until you've got that full balance. Drishti, use your breath, left leg extends into your bird. Extend that left leg, lift and lift and lift. Have fun with it. One side might feel different than the other. Release, release the hands, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Gently grab your hands behind you. Left hand grabs onto the right from behind and right hand grabs onto the left. So you're crisscross from the back of your calves. Folding forward, big hamstring stretch. Now soften the knees and then switch side. So whichever wrist was on top, switch the wrist as you're grabbing and you're pulling your calves away from you with your hands. Soften the knees, Utkatasana, Wolverine, arms, inhale, arms up, find your squat, and then gently Wolverine, arms, inhale, arms up, hands in prayer toward your heart, and straighten your arms, straighten those legs, exhale, fold, hands, and Anjali Mudra. All right, we're going to go into our little balancing sequence. Feet hip width apart, facing forwards, find your realign yourself. All right, tree pose, right foot into the inner thigh. Hands in Anjali Mudra, find your drishti. Inhale, arms out to the side. Rotate the wrist. In uh, arms up, expand. Look forward, one place, focal point. Hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Gently bring your right knee in toward your chest. Wiggle your ankles, flex and point. Bring your, bring, bring your, your left hand grabbing the outer edge of the right foot. Extend the right leg, reach your left arm back, thumb pointing up. Look toward your right thumb. Your right leg is straight. Do not lift your right heel higher than the right hip. Big mistake people do there. They try and lift up. Gently bend that knee and then grab onto the outer edge of the right foot with your right hand. Left arm up, knees together, glued together. Gaze, draw the belly in, zip up your pants, and then come into Natarajasana. Roar the dancer here. Lifting up. Gazing at one point. Find your breath. And gently release. Bring your knee in toward your nose, nose to knee. Make nose to knee, touch it, and release. That's your light forward bend, an active forward bend. All right, tree pose on the other side. Left foot in the inside, hands in prayer. Inhale, reaching arms out. Gently exhale, rotate the wrist. Find your leaves of your arms expanding as you inhale up toward the sky. Find your drishti. Gently bring your hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Bring your knee forward. Wiggle your ankle. And flex and point. Now grab with your right hand the outer edge of your left foot. Straighten that left leg forward. And then reaching your left arm behind you, looking your left thumb. Of course, you can always modify. You need to modify your grabbing onto your knee. Keep that left hip down, side of the body long, breathing. Gently look forward, bend that knee. Keep your foot off the floor as you transition to Lord of the Dancer. Knees tucked together. Lift your heart up. You're grabbing the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand. Right arm rises. Kick your foot away from your butt. Zip up your pants. Push your foot away, lifting it that it's as high up as your face, as your head. Your foot 
and your head is about the same line. Draw the belly in. Don't go too low. I almost went too low on this side, depending on the camera angle, though. Open up, lifting. Find your back bend. Inhale, come up. And keep your knee, your foot off the floor. Grab onto your knee, nose to knee. Touch that knee. And land your left foot. Touch down. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, fold. Forward back. All right. From here, you want to gently squat down for malasana. Open your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Your feet are parallel. Your heels are on the floor. Use your outer arm to push your knees out. Hands are in Anjali Mudra. You are squatting down. Really good for your digestion here. Find your breath. Hands on the floor. Lift your heels. Bring your knees into your armpit. And then gently take off. Lift off. Blast off. Lift the heels toes off the floor, bring your ankles together, drawing your butt down to bring it toward your heels, spread your toes, and jump back, exhale down to your push-up, inhaling to upward dog, top of the feet on the floor, exhaling to downward dog, good job. At this point, you should be sweating a little bit. All right, left leg expands. And then gently bend that knee to your peeing dog, opening up, lifting that back heel, and then come into Vashtasana. So stack the right leg on top of the left, the right foot on top of the left, opening up here into gate pose. Let's go a little bit more, lift that right leg, but a foot off the left, you're in a full gait. Now bring the right foot, just like we did in tree, right foot into the inner thigh, reach your right hand back as much as possible, and then come into um, wild thing, excuse me. Your left leg remains straight. Your right heel is lifted. You're just on the toes of the right foot. Your right hand tries to touch the floor and gently release down to downward dog. You are in downward dog here. Walking your toes and then gently lift the left leg nice and high up. Opening up more. Lifting that left leg and then rotate the knife edge of your right foot parallel to the front edge of your mat and stack the left foot on top of the right. Your right shoulder should be right on top of your right wrist to be a beautiful line, shoulders and wrist align into your Vashtasana as you lift the left leg about a foot off, draw the belly in, now bring the left foot into the inner thigh of that right leg, open up your left arm back even more, start opening even your left knee out into now gently invite the foot back into wild thing, open up, huge back bend, huge hip opener, your right leg is remaining straight. Your left heel is lifted. Just your toes on the floor. Open up and then gently back to downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. All right, let's lift the right leg up. And step the right foot forward. Invite the back knee down. And let's... Find your breath here. Walk your right foot toward your left hand, slowly dropping your knee and butt down into Kapotanasana Pigeon. Your back foot is still tucked under. Square the hip and then drop the top foot down when you're ready, if you want to. Squaring your hips, make sure your left, your right shin bone, excuse me, is parallel to the front edge of your mat and gently fold and release. Zoom with her teacher. 
All right, let's drop the left elbow in front of the right knee, hands in prayer, and then drop the shoulder down, left shoulder down, hands in prayer. You're really trying to drop the right buttock still down. You're doing Kaputanasana with a twist. Palms flat, fingertips pointing forward. Your head is not resting on your mat. No, no, no. But your shoulder, your whole upper arm is on the floor. All right, let's release that. And I believe we're going to go into mermaid from here. You're going to bend the left foot, bring the heel toward the buttocks. Go slowly. Deep quadricep stretch here. Your right hand is to the right side of the right knee. Try and square the chest. And then bring your top of the foot into the elbow crease of your left arm. And then reach your right arm and make the connection. Keep squaring your chest forward. Gently release here and then just bring your right foot all the way to the right side of the right knee. So find a twist, make sure you're not sitting onto your, your right foot and then bend the right elbow, bring it to the left, onto the outer or the edge of the left thigh and find your twist here. Then you can make the connection here with the arms, bending the left elbow inside the triangle you created and grabbing onto your back wrist. Right hand grabs onto your left wrist. Opening, looking over your left shoulder. Keep your hips squared. Keep both buttocks down onto the floor. Make sure that your left foot is flat down. Use that as resistance, as a yin and yang, of a little bit of resistance of twisting deeper. Gently release, and then go into Gopmukhasana. So your left knee is on top of the right knee and then gently fold. Let your weight of your torso fold onto that knee. Your feet should be outside of your hips. Reach your arms forward in front of you, dropping your forehead down in front of your knees. Big stretch into the hips here. Gently inhale, come up. You're gonna Bring yourself into fire log, happy pose, cabin, uh, double pigeon. Your right knee is bent under, your left knee is bent on top. You he it's a heel to knee alignment. That means your toes are sticking out. There should be a really big triangle here. Your left hand is outer spiraling your left thigh and you're gently folding, putting a roof over your cabin, of your log cabin, happy pose. You can see how my toes are past my knees and my heels right on top of my knee. And then gently walk to the right side. Oh yeah, now you're gonna feel it. Drop your forearms down. Your left knee should still be touching your right ankle. Yeah, is it doing that? Gently release, <laughs> even me, I'm opening my mouth. Whoa! Cross. Hug your knees, hands on the floor, lift your bum bum, lift your toes, lift and lift and lift. Gently drop your toes, hands in front and jump back. Exhale down into your push up. Inhaling to upward dog. Exhaling to downward dog for the other side, the easy side, always. It's all easy, it's all just a perception of how you want to call it. Walk your toes toward each other and lift the left leg up to the sky. Don't twist into the shoulders. And step left foot forward, drop the right knee down, then gently invite the left foot toward your right hand. Square your hips, your right toe tucks under to inner spiral that right thigh. And gently you can release the top of the back foot down as you gently release, let it go. Find your breath. Folding into your pigeon. This is not resting time. Really opening up the hips. 
without hurting yourself, of course. Your right upper thigh is down on the floor, your outer spine, your left. All right, go into that twist, your right elbow right in front of the left knee, hands stacked on top of each other, and then gently invite the right upper arm, right shoulder down to the floor. Do not let your head drop. Keep your right thigh to the floor, left buttocks to the floor, palms flat, your left elbow is stacked on top of the right elbow. Gently release. Bring the heel in a little bit if you need to for the next variation, bending the right knee, your right foot up, and bring the heel toward your buttocks here. Left hand to the left side of you. Gently look over to your left shoulder to square the chest, square the hips forward. And then gently come into your merman or mermaid, whichever one you want to play with. And then left arm up and then bend it behind you, a little tricep stretch as you grab onto your hands, your wrists, your fingertips, into your beautiful mermaid, mermaid. And slowly release, putting all your weight onto your left buttocks, extend the right leg forward, bring it all the way across, and then bring it to the left side of your left knee, your right foot's flat, and then gently twisting to the right, right hand behind you, left arm up, hook, and twist. Keep your right buttocks down, lengthening here, find that twist, and then you can make the connection by reaching your left arm underneath the triangle, reach your right arm back and grab onto your wrist, inhale, lengthening, exhale, twist a little deeper, keep your right buttocks down, right foot flat down on the floor, Drop your chest onto your thigh, let it go. You can grab onto your feet or let yourself completely down, hands in front of you or in back, draping shoulders, and then drop your forehead to the floor. stacked on top of your left foot. Toes are sticking out about three inches. Don't cheat on this pose. Shifting your weight forward, put a roof over your cabin. Let yourself fold. Your outer spiraling. This should feel good. Well, with challenge. With some challenge, yes. This is where the challenge. Stay low as you walk your hands to the left side. Bring your armpit, your upper arm into the right foot. Your elbows are down, both of the forearms are down as you're twisting here. Keep your right buttocks on the floor, right knee still touching onto your left ankle. This should feel deep, and that's not even the whole pose. But good enough for me. Cross your ankles, your right ankle is this time in front. Hands flat next to your butt, lift your butt. Lift your feet, hover here. Lift and lift and lift, and then gently drop it down. All right, soles of feet together, 
Baddha Konasana. So here you can do whatever that you choose. You can come all the way down dropping your head to the floor or keeping your hands behind you or bringing your forearms onto your inner thigh folding here. So it's up to you how you want to go. You want to try to open up those hips a little bit more. So you're still in Baddha Konasana, but your feet are about chest width apart, like a length apart. You're going to drop your forehead, your third eye, into the soles of your feet. Let your soul see your soul. Let your soul see your soul. Opening up your hip, you're folding. Hopefully you cleaned your feet. Hopefully your feet smells good. All right, now you bring your shoulders inside. So walk, bring your arm through. Bring your shoulders as close to the knees, the inner, the back of the knees as possible. This gets tricky. We're gonna only go halfway because I didn't bring a towel, I didn't put a towel, so I'm not slippery. You want to be slippery to do the full pose, but you're straighten the legs now. Your feet are only shoulder width apart, your toes are up, your arms are up, turtle, the tur the turtle's pose, turtle pose. Your arms are reaching back and you're clasping the hand behind your back, behind your lower back. Your back of your legs, your hamstring, back of knees are pressing your shoulders down. If you want to go more advanced, knock yourself out, cross your ankles together. I have a hiatal hernia, so I get really scared that my hiatal hernia will pop when I do this, so I don't go to the next page. All right, now gently walk your hands toward your butt a little bit. Your feet are up, draw the belly in, and then Asana, lift your buttocks up and then straighten the legs out into your insect pose. Tolasana, I think that is. And you're ex expanding the legs out. Yeah, you got it. And then gently drop your butt down. Legs are still straight, but they're nice and wide on the floor. Open the legs a little wider, maybe. Bring your hands in front of you. Toes up, kneecaps lifted, contract the quadriceps, and just gently fold into your nice white legged forward bend. Good. Gently inhale, come up. You're going to bend the left knee back, heel toward buttocks. If you have knee issues, of course, modify it by bringing the foot inside. I'm presuming that you're all good in health at this point. Gently shift the weight toward the right leg and fold along your right leg, giving yourself a little twist here. Your left buttocks is on the floor. Is your left buttocks on the floor? Very important. Right shoulder to the inside of the right knee, left arm reaching, grab onto the knife edge and grab onto the, of the right foot, and then both hands grabbing onto the right foot. Separate the elbows away from each other. So your right elbow is pressing to the earth, your left elbow is pressing up to the sky. Open up your chest, outer spire, your left ribs out to the sky. Keeping your left butt to the floor, there should not be a gap. You can't see it on here when you're looking at me because I'm blocking it with the rest of my body. There should not be a gap. You'll see it on the other side more probably. But we'll see. Gently inhale, come up. Straighten the right leg in front of you. Your left knee close, your, your foot still is just the same way and fold forward. So both knees are touching each other. The left knee is bent back into a hero pose. And fold. And then gently grab with the left hand the outer edge of the right foot and come up as you reach your right arm back. Your heel is about shoulder height. Then gently with both hands grab onto your heel. Right legs remain straight and then pull it up toward the sky. Lifting, draw the elbows in and bring your nose to your knee. Now bend the knee and then bring, cradle it into your chest. Make sure your shin bone is parallel to the mat. You can gently go side to side and then gently fold into a half lotus, your right foot into a half lotus into your inner left thigh and make a twist. Right arm reach back, grab onto the toe 
left hand goes onto the floor or grabs on to the right knee. Might little twist here. Lots of different twists. Excellent for the digestive system. Massaging the organs and gently release, open up the legs. Yay, we're done with that side. Yay, get to play with the other side. Walk your hands forward again. I miss teaching you guys. All right, it's so much better live. You guys will have to go to my yoga class one of these days. All right, now you bend the right knee back. Remember, if you need to modify, you bring the right foot inside. You want to drop your right foot down and then gently twist the left leg as you fold. Left leg is straight. Then bring your left shoulder, excuse me, inside the left knee, and then grab on to your left foot with both hands. Separate the elbows, like I said. Your right elbow is to the, goes to the sky. Your right, el right elbow goes to the floor, and your left buttocks is down. So both butt cheeks would be flat down. At least you would hope so. And inhale, come up. Bring the right knee forward. Bring the left knee forward. So the knees are touching each other inner thighs touching and you fold forward. The best way, easiest way is bringing your left hand out to the side to push yourself to the right a little bit because the tendency is putting all the weight onto your left. Fine balance. And then with the right hand, you grab onto your outer edge of your left foot, extend it, reach your left arm back. Create a beautiful little twist here. Left leg is straight. Now bring your left hand forward and grab on to your heel toe points up and straighten that left leg up to the heavens as you fold and bring your nose to your knee. Elbows draw toward each other so bend those elbows, hug the elbows you form into your knee and then gently bring bend the left knee in toward your right elbow crease, your right foot, your left foot into a right elbow crease and then cradle your foot kind of like a pigeon and then gently cradling it into a half lotus into the inner thigh left arm behind you grab onto the big toe right hand grabs onto the knee to the left knee find a twist left hand is grabbing onto the right big toe letting go here and gently release the forward Ah, shake out those legs. And then bend the knees, draw the belly in, scoop the tailbone as you go one more in. Yes, we are going to the floor. Feet hip width apart and inhale into your light bridge. Walk the shoulders away from your ears. Clasp the hands behind your back into your bridge here. Your knees are hugging toward each other, but they're still hip width apart. Imagine you're squeezing a block, then bring your hands onto your lower back. Elbows walk in toward each other, fingertips outside. Gently invite the left leg up to the sky, nice and extension keeping. So your right foot is up, excuse me, and your left foot down. Release your right foot, now gently the opposite leg, lifting it up, nice and strong, dropping it down, back in your bridge. Now gently lift both knees up, your feet up, and then at the same time, lift both legs. So this is a supported shoulder stand or go all the way into a full shoulder stand. Lifting both legs up, walk your hands up your back, hands up your shoulder blades, fingertips pointing toward your buttocks. Make sure that the back of your head, the neck is not flat, there's still a gentle curvature in the back of your neck. What do I say? Little white mouse, little Buddha is underneath the back of your neck. And that's the little cape and you're not scrunching that little Buddha or that little white mouse. All right, be kind. Right toes, touch the floor behind your head. Lightly touch it, keep both legs straight. And then gently invite the right leg back up. Left leg touches the floor behind your head. Right foot, knees bends, drop the right foot forward in front of your mat. 
This is intense. Back bend. Right foot touches the floor. Left leg is still straight up. Gently bring it back up with control. And then bend the left knee forward and bring the left foot to the front of your mat. And right leg is still straight up. You're still on shoulder stand. You're not looking to the right or left. Gently bring it back up. Lifting back into your shoulder and then open the legs wide and then and then give it a little twist to one side and twist to the other side kind of like little you know scissors to the right and left and then gently bring both legs behind you to halasana bow if your feet are on the floor clasp the hands behind your back top of the feet on the floor bow Come into ear pressure pose. Bend the knees toward your shoulders. Bend your knees toward your ears. And with your hands, bring them behind you. Grab onto your heels. It's an intense pose. Then gently release your hands flat down on the floor. Keep your legs close to your face as you one vertebrate at a time. Ground it back down onto the floor. Until the tailbone touches the floor, the legs are straight up above the hips. Five little circles, one direction. Five little circles, the other direction. Knees bend into your chest, rolling from side to side. Gently grabbing onto your knees and creating little circles. And bring your feet flat down. Grab a strap. Grab a tie. Grab whatever the, you can with a strap that's nearby. A towel would work. I can grab onto my feet, but this is nice to have a tool sometimes. All right, now pull it toward you. Your left knee is bent, and now you lift the hips up like you're in a bridge. Your right leg is going to get really close to you. Your right leg is straight, toes are pointing toward you. You really bring that right leg and you really accentuate. Now keep the right leg where it is, don't move it, and drop the right butt down, and then straighten the left leg down. Your right leg might be shaking. Now grab the strap with just the right hand, left hand on the hip, left hand on the thigh, and then open the right leg out to the right. You wanna keep your right buttocks down on the floor as much as possible. And then you can look to your left if you want. That's Optional, or you look straight up. With control, you're gonna bring that right leg back up, and then gently keep your right buttocks down, and you just bring the right leg just a little across, maybe 10 degrees out to the left. You'll feel a stretch into the outer thigh, and then gently twisting all the way to the, bring your right leg all the way to the left, but keep your right shoulder on the floor. And then you're gonna bend the left knee. I think we did do that on the side. Yeah, you're gonna bend the left knee, and with your right hand, you're gonna grab on to the top of the foot. And you kick your left foot away from your butt. Kick your left heel away from your butt, getting a more of a stretch. Gently release and lift up the right leg back up. And you're gonna gently bend the right knee at least you strap if it's not there if it's already there still bend your right knee into your armpit into a half dead bug right knee is going into your armpit your heel is right above the knee create a ninth degree with the back of the knee gently eye the needle bring the foot in, the right foot on top of the left knee and then interlace the fingers behind the left thigh Use your right elbow to pull the right thigh away. Gently cross like a lady, grab opposite ankles, and push the knees into your chest. All right, gently release your right knees on top. Top crisscross, you're gonna lift the hips up and shift the hips to the right side as you gently twist to the left. Keep your shoulders on the floor, gentle twist. You can make it as deep as you want, this twist. Good, gently release that 
let it go. Grab onto your strap. Mother side. Is strapping on your left foot. Your right knee is bent. And you're pulling that left leg toward you, toes point toward you, and gently lift the right buttocks up and you'll get that left leg even closer to you. Pulling it toward you. And then gently drop the buttocks down as you extend the right leg down. You should feel that real stretch. When you drop your buttocks down, you should have not left, lifted your left leg up. Now bring your right hand on your right thigh. Keep your right buttocks down as you slowly invite the left leg all the way to the left without moving your right leg or your right shoulder off the floor as much as you can. Maybe gazing toward your right shoulder, over your right side, or looking straight up. You wanna try and really ground that right hip down as much as you can. And then you, with control, lift that left leg back up. Grab with both hands your strap. Keep your left buttocks down as you bring that left leg about 10 degrees to the right, and you should feel the stretch onto the IT band. Just a gentle stretch right there hip moves away and then when you're ready bring it all the way across keep your left shoulder down find your breath and then when you're ready you can you can bend the right leg bring the right heel toward your hand and push the right foot away from your buttocks away from your hand get a stretch into the shoulders and find a twist into the hips everything is stretching into your pretzel here Keeping the left shoulder down, looking over your left shoulder. And unpretzel yourself when you're ready. Bending that left knee toward your armpit into your half dead bug here. Right leg remains straight and then pull that knee toward your armpit. Make sure your heel is back. You're gonna bend back your right knee and then bring your foot on your left foot onto the right thigh for threading the needle with your left elbow push into your left thigh away from you bring your right thigh toward you flex your feet good and then you're gonna go into the supine gomukhasana Stack the knees on top of each other, grabbing onto your ankles. So your right knee and left knee on top. And then gently bring your right foot down. Your left knee should be right on top. Like, And then lift the hips and then push the hips to the left. As you gently twist, bring your knees to the right. You can do any variation of twist here if you want, but I like this variation you can go really deep as long as you're open but at this point you should be pretty gumbo and then gently bring release bring both knees into your chest hug your knees roll from side to side grab both feet this time for Full on dead bug, happy baby. So I like to like lift my butt up first, get myself acquainted with my knees toward my armpit, my heel, and then I drop my tailbone down, then straighten my right leg, keep your left knee in your dead bug pose, then go back into your right bug and straighten your left leg. Go back into your dead bug, then bring your heels toward each other and go into Badakonasana, supine Badakonasana. Hands on inner thighs, you're in your lotus position, co uh, cobbler position, excuse me, and then gently release and get yourself ready for full Shavasana, corpse pose. Palms facing up, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and then gently you release them out to the side, eyes remaining closed, and completely let it go. Shavasana.
your fingertips, wiggling, reaching your arms back, lengthening, then bend your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your knees and give yourself a big hug, keeping your eyes closed, rolling from side to side. And gently from here, bring your nose toward your knee, make yourself into a tight ball and thank yourself for your beautiful practice. Bringing gratitude, reach your right arm back and let yourself roll to the right side. Eyes remaining closed, letting go, let the earth support you. With the left hand close to your heart, come up into a comfortable seated position. Eyes remaining closed, crossing your legs, whichever way, hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer position toward your heart center. Namaste. May you always find peace, health, and happiness. I bow to you always. Namaste. Thank you for practicing. And thank you for watching and please share. See you next time.